I place my hands upon you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, asking God for the precious gift of guidance, protection, care, direction for your ministry now for the next five weeks. Return to us, we pray, in good health and with lots of news to share with us about the International Episcopal Church. All we pray in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you. And Mr. Senior Warden and Mr. Treasurer, would you please come forward? I understand you have an announcement. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So we celebrate today the 147th anniversary of the founding of this parish, and over our rich history, there, we've been very blessed to have a number of people over all those years who have given a great deal of their lives in service of this parish. And the vestry is going to be meeting uh, in the, over the next couple of months to identify a way to recognize those people who have served the parish, whether as a staff member or as a volunteer, for an extended period of time. And this morning we'd like to recognize one of those people who is a very important part of the life of this parish, and that is our parish administrator, Yuhadi Sundaramurti. So Yuhadi, if you'd come forward, please. Can I just say it really briefly? Wait, 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 you'll get a time to do this later. Uhadi. <laughs> we heard that. <laughs> so this last summer marked Yahadi's 25th anniversary, either at the Church of Our Savior or at Our Savior Center. He spent the majority of those years at Our Savior Center, and more recently has been our parish administrator. And Will is standing with me, our treasurer, as a, a testament to the uh, unwavering dedication that Yuhadi has demonstrated over the years as our administrator a steady hand at the rudder of this parish through very stormy waters a few years ago, uh, always without judgment, without criticism, just steady uh, and like a rock for this place. Do you want to jump in there? Okay. Why why so, without going on too much longer, because I could, um, <laughs> Yohadi is a true professional, he's humble, he's always positive, he's incredibly dedicated to this place. And by the way, the 25 years is more than half of his time on the planet. I mean, he's been here a long time. And truthfully, uh, it would take at least three people to do the work that Yahadi does by himself. And so we have a small gift to recognize his 25 years. And inside this box is a card which says to Yahadi Sandaramurti, with grateful appreciation for your 25 years of dedicated service to the parishioners, staff, clients, and visitors of our Savior Center and the Church of Our Savior. And there's uh, a monetary gift that, so with the hope that he can take Gabby out for a night out on the town with babysitting money as well. Yahadi, thank you very much. Thank you, money man. Now you can stand up. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Some of you have heard me talk about Mahatma Gandhi, not far from the neighborhood of Bangladesh where Yahadi comes from, 
as among the most Christian of people that I know who wasn't a Christian but lived Christianity's principles, that man does the same. And can I have a few minutes to make an announcement? Please. I may lose my job. He's going to find me. Everybody should have a piece of paper with your insert. Please take it out. On July, oh, everybody got it? And it's all translated. Do, so you find it, so I will not repeat it. On July 12, 1974, Gary J. Bradley was ordained in the Roman Catholic Church. He was then received to the Episcopal Church on February 26, 1988, as a priest by Bishop Oliver Bailey Garver, Jr. In our Episcopal tradition, before the ordination, the bishop addresses the ordinance to the presbyter as follows. My brother, the church is the family of God, the body of Christ, and the temple of the Holy Spirit. All baptized people are called to make Christ known as Savior and Lord, and to share in the renewing of his world. Now you are called to work as a pastor, priest, and teacher, together with your bishop and fellow presbyters, and to take your share in the councils of the church. As a priest, it will be your task to proclaim by word and deed the gospel of Jesus Christ, and to fashion your life in accordance with its precepts. You are to love and serve the people among whom you work caring a life for young and old, strong and weak, rich and poor. You are to preach, to declare God's forgiveness to penitent sinners, to pronounce God's blessing, to share in the administration of holy baptism and in the celebration of the mysteries of Christ's body and blood, and to perform the other ministra ministrations entrusted to you. In all that you do, you are to nourish Christ's people from the riches of his grace and strengthen them to glorify God in this life and in the life to come. Now I would like to invite our senior warden, Patrick Crandall, to say a few words to re in regards to Gary Joseph Bradley's ministry. And is Peg here yet? Uh, might be in the back. Peg's in the back. I see oh, Peg. Okay, good. <laughs> so I'll be brief. Uh, because I could go on again for hours. <laughs> Gary Bradley was born a shepherd. He knew from an early age he was called to be a priest. He entered seminary at 14, is that right? And he, he was ordained, as Ada said, in July 12, 1974. Not sure if there was a correlation, but Richard Nixon resigned one month later. <laughs> 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 um, so everything was on track for Gary. Uh, he knew exactly where he wanted to be. He knew he was called to be a priest until God decided to rock his world in the form of a sweet, shy little nun by the name of Peg. <laughs> so being the good Catholic that he was, he said, I got to get out of here. So he went to Peru for a period of four years of discernment which lasted about four months, and he came rushing back to be with his beloved Peg. So then he became a shepherd of his own flock to his four children, and now two grandchildren, three grandchildren. And fortunately, <laughs> he's also our shepherd. And we get the added bonus of having his co-shepherd, Peg Bradley. So we're blessed to have them both. And since you started your ministry in an entirely different era, we want, you, we want to help bring that ministry to the modern era. And in celebration of the fact that your son Greg starts his new job at Apple tomorrow, <laughs> we have for you an iPad. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay. 
我们的主耶稣，他生出来就已经是一个好的牧人，所以的医生他都是奉献的。他当时我刚才说了，他是在天主教那里受受封的，天主教的神父不结婚的，但是他认识后来认识那个少女，就是佩，他的佩。后来他们都脱离了天主教，成为我们圣公会的，个很长的故事，慢慢再告诉你们了。因为他的十四岁已经进神学院，十十四 fourteen 呀，十四岁，所以也已经系很早之前，所以我们现在给他一个 iPad， 所以可以追上时代。<笑> OK。Sorry, one I have to indulge me one more time. So I I've been corresponding with Gary's children about. Uh, getting a little bit of history, of his story, and so forth. So I've got two things that will be on the vestry table when uh, when you come into the ministry fair. One is this picture of Gary from his <laughs> seminary yearbook. <laughs> oh man! <laughs> and the other is very sweet, and it's a picture of his father's desk calendar. On July 12, 1974, and it says, "One of the proudest days of my life, Gary Joseph Bradley ordained to the priesthood." 等一下，你们去啊，去了施工啊，在哪哪里了？就有那个一个是他的是呃以前在神学院的呃照片，还有一个呢就是他爸爸在他爸爸死后找到的，他受封那天对他很重要，你可以看得到。所以现在。在看你的呃呃那那个 ，Please take out your, uh look at your prayers again. We want to give thanks. Very respect. She said, "Go away." She went back that way. Pay. Putting on her vestment. There she is. So we have witness and benefit from Father Gary's ministry among us. Do you say he has done a very good job in following the above? Yes. I can hear. Yes. Good. So let us give thanks to God for Father Gary, our rector's ministry, and his family. For Gary Bradley, the chosen priest, on his 40th ordination anniversary, we give thanks to you, Lord, that he has been faithfully fulfilling the duties of this ministry, building up your church and glorifying your name. We give thanks. That by the indwelling of the Holy Spirit, He will continue to be sustained and encouraged to persevere to the end. We give thanks to you, Lord, for His family who have supported Him throughout the blessings and challenges of His ordained life. We give thanks to you, Lord. Thank you, Father Gary. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And now let us walk in love, as Christ loved us and gave Himself for us in offering and sacrifice to God. Only one comment. Tommy Lasorda last night, last night, night before Friday. last, said something about something like, uh, "If you are a loyal person, then loyalty will be given to you yourself later." I thank God my children were loyal to not tell the whole story here. <laughs>